My name is Tammy. And my name is Raina. And, and welcome, welcome to AM Central. Any students that want to go on the Black College Tour, see Ms. Cheers in the library. Indoor track meeting on Thursday in room 328. Come and see the Winter's Tale at Central on November 8th and 9th. Jeff Poindexter, STCC 1989. Jamil Earl Poindexter, STCC 1993. Jamil left high school in the 10th grade, got his GED. It takes a little while to learn how to be a student again. It allowed me to get my associate's degree and then transfer to a four-year school. I ultimately went to Harvard Law School, Georgetown. Being able to go to STCC, transfer to great law schools was an inspiration. You need a path to Harvard, uh, and this is the path. program was developed in 1993. You need the MCAS to graduate high school. If you fail the MCAS, you can't graduate. Do you think it's fair for students who do poorly on tests to be judged by this one test? Hi, my name is Winjong. On regular tests, I usually get good grades. Even though I get good grades on regular tests, I don't know for sure if I get good grades on the MCAS. I don't think it's fair to be judged by one test because if you fail, you can't be able to graduate and go to college. Hi, my name is Ms. Conti. I teach 9th grade English and 11th. In regards to MCAS, I do not think it's fair that kids um, can't graduate if they don't pass it. I think some kids really struggle with testing and they get nervous or um, they just get really stressed out about it and it makes taking tests harder for them. So I think that some kids don't need to pass a test to show that they can graduate. And sometimes I just think there's so much focus and attention um, put on MCAS that it makes kids stressed out and I really don't like that side of it. So those are the opinions of a student and a teacher as to if they feel that MCAS is necessary. That's all for today. Have a great day, Central.